Earth, the planet we call our home. From deserts to snowy mountains, as surely as the seasons change, through the passage of time, every inch of our world is, as it has always been, teeming with life, with creatures large and small. Join us in celebrating the mighty wilderness in Wild About. Mankind has become the pinnacle of life on Earth. Most of us don't give a second thought to our humble origins. Rising out of the ocean depths, crawling onto the muddy banks of a primordial Earth, something else evolved. Alongside the dinosaurs, the birds, and the mammals, something hardened by nature and weathered by time. Cold-blooded, skin scaly and dry, sprawling legs, claws and spikes. Found everywhere from oceans, rivers and lakes, to jungles, forests and deserts. Up among the trees and down amidst the grass, a creature older than time itself. widespread group of over 6,000 species. Lizards belong to the group Lacertilia, part of a group known as squamates. Reptiles with horny scales or shields and mobile upper jaws relative to the rest of their skull, most having outer ears, and gaps in their skull for muscle attachment points. Lizards are distinct from other squamata, like snakes, who once descended from them. And the tuatara, the uniquely primitive lizard-like reptiles of New Zealand, superficially similar but closer to the ancient turtles than the modern lizard. Lizards first evolved 220 million years ago, during the Triassic period, alongside the early dinosaurs with which they are so often associated, stemming from the same common ancestor that would eventually evolve into mammals, with species during the Cretaceous periods growing enormous, reclaiming the seas, with mosasaurs closely related to the monitor lizards of today stalking the ocean depths. The largest of which, Hynosaurus, may have been more than 50 feet, attacking sharks and other large aquatic reptiles. Prehistoric terrestrial lizards also found to grow to huge sizes, with Megalania of Australia being another relative of the monitor lizards of today, up to 23 feet in length, living as late as 30,000 years ago possibly encountering the first aboriginal settlers. Lizards today come in all shapes and sizes. From the smallest lizard, the Brookesia micra chameleon, barely over an inch long in its adult form, to the largest, the Komodo dragon, at over 10 feet in length, with the majority being around five to 15 inches long. They are found worldwide, on every continent and major land mass outside of the bitter cold of Antarctica. They're spread out across most islands and atolls, anywhere warm enough for them to sustain bodily activity, as they are cold-blooded or ectothermic, producing very little metabolic heat, instead remaining around the same temperature as their surroundings. In order to be active, feed, move, and reproduce, lizards therefore have to stay in warm areas or in sunlight in order to elevate their body temperature with lizards in colder climates commonly becoming dormant during the winter season, hiding in a small crawl space or digging a small burrow to protect it from the colds and opportunistic predators. They're known to be aquatic, terrestrial, and arboreal, both herbivores feeding on leaves, flowers, roots, and shoots, frugivores feeding on any and all types of fruit, and carnivores feeding on anything between insects, spiders, grasshoppers, larvae, centipedes, to carrion, snails, frogs, rodents and snakes, even other lizards. Most lizards share the same basic body shape, quadrupeds with four sprawling legs, sprinters more than long distance runners. A few species such as the collared lizard also able to run as a biped for short distances. 
All lizards have a horizontally aligned spine and neck, with commonly large heads, counterbalanced by a tail comprised mostly of muscle and fatty tissue. All have a multitude of teeth, many even having teeth along the roof of their mouths, with only chameleons and agamids not able to continuously replace their teeth. Lizards are identifiable by their commonly superior eyesight, the chameleons notably having eyes that independently move, leading to extensive visual communication between members of the same species, by body language and color. Agamas, known for their bright, colorful patterns, even using markings only visible under UV light, as many lizards can see far beyond the spectrum visible to humans, with hearing ability varying greatly from species to species. Not as good as most mammals, but superior to that of snakes. Instead found to be more sensitive to ground and air vibrations, often remaining extremely still when feeling the slightest presence of another animal. Lizards can be divided into two known suborders, iguania, including all iguanas, chameleons, helmet lizards, agamids, collared lizards, leopard lizards, chakwalas, spiny lizards, annals, and tropidurid lizards, distinguished by being mostly arboreal, with either clawed or opposing fingers and toes for better gripping, commonly arched backs, varying skin texture of knobs and spines, to both deter predators by the sight of it, impress females, as well as break up their outline as a form of camouflage, and having primitive fleshy tongues, some even having scales. Though chameleons are unique within the group by commonly having long sticky tongues that can be projected over two times the length of the chameleon itself to catch a flying insect at great speeds. They are also among the most prolific types of lizards, with the genus Anolis having nearly 400 species worldwide. Second among the suborders of lizards is the Scleroglossa, including all other forms of lizard, making up the broadest suborder of lizards, further divided into three infraorders, Gekota, including all forms of gecko, and the legless, flat-footed lizards. Geckos are widely known for their remarkable ability to crawl up vertical walls, even upside down, thanks to unique adhesive toe pads made up of several rolls of tiny bristles arranged in skin flaps, or lamellae, producing significant adhesion to be able to support the weight of nearly 300 pounds hanging upside down, each bristle less than a tenth the thickness of the smallest human hair. Geckos are also unique among lizards for being primarily nocturnal, also displaying significant night vision, up to 300 times as sensitive as that of the human eye. Geckos are also rare among lizards for their ability to significantly vocalize using a variety of chirping sounds for social interaction and courtship. Also included in Gekota is the family of Pygopedite, or snake lizards. Though they are not believed to be directly related to snakes, they, much like glass lizards, exhibit no limbs. The second infraorder, Amphisbania, is also highly similar, made up of five families of what are commonly known as worm lizards lacking external limbs, but are commonly pink in color with scales arranged in rings, more closely resembling earthworms. And the final infraorder, Autoarchoglossa, including skinks, alligator lizards, slow worms, galley wasps, glass lizards, girdle tail lizards, beaded lizards, gila monsters, race runners, whip tails, plated lizards, spectacled lizards, night lizards, monitor lizards, and wall lizards, also known as true lizards, with snakes evolving out of this group. Most also have similar forked tongues used for taste and smell, constantly bringing air particles back into the mouth into what is known as Jacobson's organ. The infraorder is also unique in having the only venomous lizards, with the Gila monster, the beaded lizard, and all monitor lizards, or varanids, having mild venom glands in their lower jaws, typically used for defense, with the possible exception of the larger monitor lizards, such as the Komodo dragon, biting its prey, then waiting for the venom and infection to set in. 
with only a handful of monitor lizards in the Philippines being frugivorous, all other monitors preferring large, meaty prey, with the smallest monitor, the short-tailed monitor of Australia, being 10 inches long, with the average size of most monitors being around 3 feet. The largest, the Komodo dragon, has even been known to stalk, attack, and kill humans. Found only in three small islands of Indonesia, they are unique among lizards for having a high metabolic rate, unidirectional pulmonary airflow, with air sacs similar to birds, allowing them quick sprinting and longer dashes, and high intelligence having been shown to be able to use strategies such as acting as decoys to lure other animals such as crocodiles away from their nests while their partner feeds on their eggs. The true lizards being the most common lizards found throughout Europe, often seen as the archetypal lizard, a family encompassing hundreds of species across 37 genera, most being small under six inches long the largest, the Gran Canaria giant lizard, being a rarity at up to 31 inches in length. All members being highly similar in form and function, with the species distinct only by their highly varied patterns and colors. Skinks are seen as highly similar to true lizards, but with no pronounced neck and smaller limbs. A few species lacking legs altogether they are the most prolific family of lizards, with over 1,500 described species worldwide. Skinks are also most known for a love of digging and burrowing, most spending their time underground, digging out tunnels, using their tongues to sniff out and track their prey, being active hunters of insects. Unlike snakes, lizard shedding commonly takes place little by little. The hard scales unable to expand as the lizard grows, discarded individually or in larger flakes rather than all at once. The only exception being the alligator lizard, shedding the entirety of its skin with regular intervals. With most lizards continuously growing throughout their lives, due to their small size, many lizards employ different methods of self-defense. Some are quick sprinters, reacting quickly to the slightest movement or vibrations, fleeing into dark corners and tight spaces where they can't easily be pursued by larger predators, most relying on camouflage. Their color patterns and rough skin textures mimicking their surroundings, with both chameleons and agamid lizards having the ability to change color to blend into their environment or to regulate their body temperature by turning darker during the day in order to absorb more daylight and become more active. This is accomplished through three layers of specialized cells underneath the surface of their otherwise transparent skin. The top layer shifting the amount of yellow and red pigments visible. The second layer blending blue and white. The third adjusting the overall darkness of the color. Some also employ hard bites and even mild venoms. The slow-moving Gila monster, lacking fangs, it instead bites down and chews to inject its venom. Others are covered in sharp spines and thorns, such as the Australian thorny devil, also employing a false head of soft tissue on the back of its neck to distract predators from the more vital organs when under attack. Similarly, worm lizards have a tail that closely resembles the head to confuse predators, leading to the popular image of the two-headed serpent. Most geckos, skinks, and a few other lizard species can also discard or shed their tail when threatened process known as autotomy or self-amputation, wherein the discarded tail portion continues to wiggle as an automatic muscle reflex, distracting predators while the lizard itself flees, with the gecko eventually regenerating it as a new cartilaginous rather than bony tail, often displaying significant discoloration from the original limb, while the ground skink, which stores food preserves in the tail portion, often returns to the discarded tail later to consume it in order to regain part of the sacrifice supplies. 
Other lizards also rely on threatening displays, such as hissing, or various methods of making themselves appear larger, such as the frilled lizard, unfurling a shield of skin around their neck to make it appear larger, or the blue-tongued lizard, sticking out its large blue tongue when threatened to confuse its pursuer. Many are also highly territorial, using similar methods to scare off other lizards from their area. Their territory is often dominated by males, encompassing one or several females. Most lizards have fixed mating seasons, larger lizards often mating once a year, smaller lizards mating more frequently, and can be both polygamous and polyandrous, while a few lizards, such as mooktail lizards, geckos, Komodo dragons and rock lizards can employ asexual reproduction or virgin conception, effectively reproducing as clones. Mating is often preceded by a period of courtship, wherein the male courts the female, either through offering the female prey, gestures and dances, or colorful displays. With many lizards using dewlaps or small inflatable skin flaps around their neck to impress their mates. Mating is often brief and fleeting. After which the male often leaves to find other mates. The female can then lay between two to 50 eggs. With uncertain survival rates as most lizards abandon their eggs from that point on open to attack from predators, including birds, snakes, and other lizards. Except for some skinks and glass lizards, who vigilantly guard their eggs. Incubation periods among lizard eggs vary greatly, anywhere between weeks to months. The young lizards emerging from the eggs looking much like miniaturized versions of their parents. A few species don't lay eggs, however, instead being viviparous, holding the eggs within their bodies until hatching, at which point they emerge as live births, such as nearly half of all skinks. Lizard life spans vary greatly, with chameleons often living one to three years, others such as wall lizards between five to ten, with geckos and iguanas lasting into their teens or even twenties. A Mexican beaded lizard known to live nearly 34 years in captivity, with older specimens believed to exist in the wild. The word lizard comes from the Latin word lacertus, meaning arm coming from the Proto-Indo-European term for to bend or twist, as lizards commonly identified by their sprawling quadruped walk, elbows and knees pointing outward. Throughout history, they have been associated with any number of symbols, with different cultures attributing different qualities to different kinds of lizards. In ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics, the lizard representing all things multiple or plentiful. Due to their prevalence throughout Egypt and Africa at large. The Dogon tribe of Africa, on the other hand, using engravings of lizard as protection from evil spirits. The Babanki tribe, similarly holding the lizard as a representation of household tranquility. While among the Bamum in Cameroon, it is often seen as a fertility symbol, used to wish well upon newlywed couples and expectant mothers with the Romans also associating lizards with death and resurrection due to their winter hibernation. While in Christian mythology, lizards have been seen as significantly more ambivalent, often associated with the evil and darkness of the serpent or snake, or with the representation of contemplation or ecstasy, stemming from their fondness for basking in the sunlight. Appearing deep in thought, 
with some indigenous cultures, primarily Native American and Australian Aboriginal, also worshipping the lizard as a symbol for patience, or a trance-like dream state, also appearing as a symbol for New Age culture today. While in modern culture, lizards have instead been depicted as slow-moving, often equally slow-witted and emotionless creatures, if not outright cruel. Due to the cannibalistic tendencies of some lizards, as well as their callousness regarding their offspring. Feared for their inhuman appearance and cold skin and the flickering forked tongue of some, associated with our dark and primitive beginnings, often likened to dinosaurs with which they have a distant relation. Appearing in sci-fi horror movies as the archetypal monster attacking mankind, or seen as vermin and pests, much like insects. Despite their worldwide prevalence, their diet of insects and other pests, and meager threat, with even the venomous species of lizards not being lethal to adult humans. Only the Komodo dragon found to be outright dangerous. In many tropical countries and among indigenous cultures, lizards are also often cooked and consumed, either as a fried treat or a full meal. Some today are also popular as pets, particularly different species of iguanas and chameleons, and some smaller monitor lizards, being very docile and peaceful creatures, kept either in enclosed terrariums or even left wandering around their owners' homes. The lizards are notoriously difficult to train effectively, most species far less responsive than mammalian pets or even birds and seldom exhibiting any reciprocation of affection. Though often claimed to be easy to maintain, many lizards, with iguanas in particular, having very particular requirements and needs for both habitat and diet, including regular long-term exposure to sunlight and water, and particular foods, leaves, and insects. With many new lizard owners neglecting their needs, leading to their premature deaths. While well, some species have grown to flourish in human environments. Geckos often found around human settlements and homes throughout tropical countries around the world, some even displaying an affinity to humans. Many lizard species are today endangered, particularly larger tropical lizards, mostly due to climate change shrinking habitats and human intervention as divisive as they are prevalent being among the oldest animals around surviving natural disasters and mass extinctions over hundreds of millions of years though we consider ourselves the dominant species on the planet They existed here long before us, and will continue to exist long after we are gone. Remaining one of the last wild animals on Earth.